You're watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network. I'm Nicholas Callis. These are your game recaps and standing updates from Thursday, June the 25th, 2020. There will be no league leaders today because only seven games were played throughout Major League Baseball. The Rays and Athletics played each other in a close game. 3-2 was the final score. The Rays came out on top. The difference maker was the fact that the Rays had a two-run bottom in the sixth inning. Chaz Rowe got the win. Joaquin Soria got the loss. And Nick Anderson earned his 23rd save of the season. AL Central Baseball, the White Sox edged out the Tigers. 3-2 is the final score. And this was an interesting game because the Tigers had the lead. They scored two in the second inning. They had the lead all the way up to the ninth inning. But the White Sox were able to tie it in the bottom of the ninth inning, which forced an extra inning. And the White Sox were able to walk it off in the bottom of the tenth. Chase Fry got the win. And Brian Garcia got the loss. NL East Baseball... The Phillies and Braves played each other. Quite an offensive day, but the Braves came out on top 10-7. The Phillies got 7 runs on 10 hits and committed an error, and the victorious Braves got 10 runs on 14 hits and committed no errors as a team. Mike Soroka got the win, Zach Eflin got the loss, and Will Smith earned his 26th save of the season. The Cubs and Reds played each other in an NL Central matchup, 5-4 was the final score of this game. The Reds scored all their runs between the second and fourth innings. Meanwhile, the Cubs got a run in the top of the third inning and then put up a four spot in the top of the fifth inning. Neither team scored after that point, so the Cubs were able to hold on for the win. Hugh Darvish got the win, Jose De Leon got the loss, and Craig Kimbrell earned his 29th save of the season. The Pirates and Nationals played each other, and the Nats won by a score of 6-1, to one, thanks in part to a five-run bottom of the fourth inning. Steven Strasburg got the win, and Steven Brault got the loss. The Cardinals and Marlins played each other. 4-1 to one was the final score of this game. The Cardinals came out on top. The Cardinals had the lead in the top of the second inning up until the Marlins tied the game in the bottom of the seventh inning, but then the Cardinals responded with a three-run top of the eighth and they held on to the lead to win it. Ryan Helsley got the win, Stephen Tarpley got the loss, and Giovanni Gallegos earned his 30th save of the season. The Mets and Giants played each other. 3 to nothing was the final score of this game. Jacob deGrom got the win, Johnny Cueto got the loss, Edwin Diaz earned his 20th save of the year with the Mets. The Mets got three runs on 12 hits, the Giants got shut out, no runs on three hits. Let's look at standings now. Starting in the American League East, the New York Yankees lead with a 49 and 32 record. The Blue Jays in second place with a 47 and 34 record. They're two games back. They have the Rays in third place with a 40 and 42 record, nine and a half games back. The Red Sox 36 and 45, 13 games back. And the Orioles are 34 and 37, still in last place, 15 games back of the Yankees, and they're in the middle of a five-game losing streak. In the American League Central, the Minnesota Twins still lead this division. They also still have the best record in baseball, 56 and 26. The White Sox have reached 50 wins after defeating the Tigers today. They're 50 and 32, six games back of the Twins. The Indians are 45 and 36, 10 and a half games back. The Tigers 31 and 50, they're 24 and a half games back. And the Royals still in last place, still yet to get 30 wins. They're 29 and 53, 27 games back. In the West, the Oakland Athletics are 49 and 32. They still lead the Astros. Two games behind them with a 46 and 33 record. Then you have the Angels, who are 39 and 41, nine and a half games back in third place. The Rangers are 33 and 49, 16 and a half games back. And the Mariners still in last place with a 28 and 54 record, 21 and a half games back of the A's. The wild card standings look like this in the AL. The White Sox have the number one spot with a 50 and 32 record. Then the Blue Jays and Astros are tied for the second wild card spot, though they have different records. They are the same amount of games back of the White Sox for that first wild card spot. The Indians are 45 and 36, two games back. The only American League team in contention right now, because every other team in the AL has a winning percentage under 500, and is at least seven and a half games back of a wild card spot. In the National League East, the Washington Nationals still lead their 49 and 32. The Marlins are 44 and 37, five games back. They won on a cold streak a week ago, which caused them to fall below the Nationals in a big way. Braves are catching up, however. They're 42 and 39. They beat the Phillies today. They're seven games back. The Phillies are 38 and 42 after losing to the Braves today. Ten and a half games back. And the Mets are still in last place with a 35 and 46 record. They're 14 games back, though they beat the Giants today. In the National League Central, the St. Louis Cardinals still lead. They're 48 and 33. But the Cubs have gotten on a hot streak. They've won six in a row and seven of their last ten. And they're the first team in a while in the NL Central, other than the Cardinals, that has a winning percentage over 500, but they're still seven games back of first place. The 
Brewers are 37 and 42, 10 games back of the Cardinals. The Reds are 32 and 49. They've lost six games in a row. They lost to the Cubs today. They're 16 games back. And the Pirates, 30 and 50, 17 and a half games back of the Cardinals for first place. In the National League West, the Los Angeles Dodgers have a 54 and 27 record. They lead. The Diamondbacks and Padres are tied for second place with a 44 and 37 record. They're both 10 games back. The Rockies are 32 and 48, 21 and a half games back. And the Giants are still in last place. They lost to the Mets today. They're 22 games back with a 32 and 49 record. And here are the wild card standings: the Diamondbacks, Marlins, and Padres all have the same record, 44 and 37. The Braves, two games back of a wild card spot with a 42 and 39 record. The Cubs, 41 and 43 games back. And every other team in the National League has a winning percentage under 500 and is at least five and a half games back of a wild card spot. These have been your game recaps and standing updates. From Thursday, June the 25th, 2020, I'm Nicholas Callis. You've been watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network.